All right, so today we figure out how relays work. I must say, this was actually more complex than I thought it was going to be. It was a bit tricky, to be honest with you. So I've got a relay here. Apologies about like just the way that this looks. It looks way worse than it is. Just to bring it up to speed, I've got a power supply. I've also got an Arduino kind of power board here, which is supplying five volts in order to power an LED. And then I'm using a relay here, just a standard relay that I got from this Arduino kit, most complete starter kit. So I'm literally just using that relay from here and I'm gonna use it as a switch. I mean, that's what all relays are used for. And I'm gonna control the switch using voltage basically. So what you'll see is as I turn up the voltage, that LED will turn on, turn it back off. And so literally the, it just becomes a switch. And so the plan is for my final year project, I want to develop a solar charge controller that will use a relay so that it will detect when the battery voltage goes too high and then shut off the circuit basically. So I need to figure out how this works. And you can hear that clicking, that's happening from the relay. I mean, it's quite cool really how like, how simple this stuff is. So annoyingly, the way that the relay is, it's just disgusting. Like the, the pins don't fit into the board on the breadboard properly so I've got all these jumper cables so let me just solder on some leads onto the relay and then hopefully we'll be able to, I'll be able to get you guys a better look at all of this because as you can see it's not the best thing to work with and it just doesn't go into the board properly so I'll solder on some extensions and then we can I can go into a bit more detail right all right so now I've done away with all of the extra wires and I've just soldered on just some extensions basically onto the relay so to have a look at it, you've got the three pins on one side and these two pins on, on this other side. Here, these two pins here, they're the output. So what we're going to see is that this red one here just happens on this relay. This is the one that is active when the relay is off or in its current position right now. If I connect power to this white cable, this middle pin here, the positive will go through the relay and come out this side here. It's literally just a switch. So then when I apply a voltage across these two pins here, this uh, current here now will come through here. And as I apply power, instead of the switch being like this and go into this red wire, it will then switch downwards and go towards this green wire. And so that's why you can see that the green LED was on first. And then when I applied power voltage here, then it switched, closed, and then this LED turned on. So let's put that in practice on a breadboard. All right, so look, this is super simple. You've got positive coming in here now, five volts on this black wire into the breadboard, and then you've got negative along there, right? Cool. So if I now place this resistor, um, this uh, relay, if I take it, right, and then all I have to do is just, for example, plug this pin into any point in the breadboard there, and then I take my green LED, right, plug it in somewhere here, connect it to the ground, so now, in order to get this uh, LED to turn on, what do I need to do? Simply just need to take this pin here and attach it to that positive rail, and then you're going to see the LED turn on. So, there you go. And so, it's so simple, it's crazy how simple it is, that you've literally just got positive going into here, through here, and then into here. So currently now, this, this green wire here, is not powered at all so if i plug it in to somewhere here okay and then i take my led now you can see it's off cool so in order to switch the magnetic switch in here from going this way to this way i now need to apply a voltage here and the voltage has got to be over three volts so let's now take my power supply and then apply some voltage cool okay so then now just crank up the voltage Boom. So at three volts, it switches over and then under two volts. So there's like a, a little bit of a leeway there where, for example, you'll see here over three volts, it'll turn on. Boom. And if I go to 2.5, you see, you see it stays on. Once it drops below two, then it will turn off. I mean, this instance here I actually went down to 1.5. That's fine. So there is a bit of a leeway. It looks like about 1.5 volts. So let's go back over three. And then let's drop down to 1.5. No, oh, still on. Okay, so one volt. Not sure if it changes. Let's 
to go down. Yeah. And so all that's happening there, you can literally hear that switch. As the voltage is being applied, there's a coil in there which is getting energized and then it's just pushing the switch back and forth. So now I need to figure out how to get this to work on a solar charger. I haven't done that yet, so I'm gonna have to save that for another video. But yeah, it's nice that now I know how relays work and it's just about how do you now make this, how do you get this to be used in a, in a way that's useful? I'm thinking the plan would be that, okay, so this is the output here. So I obviously want, uh, this needs to be between the solar panel and between the battery. And so these connections here, this positive and negative, since this is the voltage, this is going to be connected to the battery, right? So what I want is that when the voltage, this is going to be tricky because basically you're going to, I'm going to want to ground one of these pins because what I want is I want the solar panel to get disconnected from the battery once the battery is charged and that disconnection needs to go to ground. So I need to dispose of that. So one of these pins, these outputs needs to go to ground and the other one needs to go to the battery. It's a bit complicated, but yeah, I'll do that in my next video. I don't know how long it's going to take me to learn this. <laughs> it takes me a while. It's uh yeah there's not that you know it's crazy because there really isn't that much available on youtube so if you know this kind of stuff consider making videos because i need them <laughs> cool all right guys i'll see you in the next one relays you know i'm in my final year of electrical engineering and i've only just started learning about them bit bad in it see you guys in the next one